We've been talking about Ampere and Nvidia quite a lot recently, so now let's change camps, let's look at Team Red and see what AMD should do to make their release of the new upcoming Big Navy a successful one. The hype around Ampere is slowly dying away, mostly because of the availability issues that we're facing and the recent stability issues has also made some people very conscious about buying Nvidia graphics cards. And while it's very irritating, the GPU is still very good and it's a great leap when it comes to performance when compared to the last generation. So it's still a very, very tempting and very um, good reason to switch. And hopefully Nvidia will be able to deal with all of those issues, ramp up production, deliver all those promised GPUs and also make a statement about the performance issues or stability issues when it comes to overclock 3080 GPUs. But let's leave Ampere and Nvidia for now at least partially and focus on AMD and try to answer the question of what AMD should do to make their launch a successful one. And in this video I'll give you three examples of what in my opinion AMD can do to pull ahead of Nvidia and make the launch of the new GPUs a much more pleasant experience for the consumers. I'm also curious what you think AMD should do in order to win your attention and maybe convince you to buy their graphics cards, so let me know in the comments below. Let's get the first point out of the way, the most obvious one, so availability. I hope AMD is paying close attention to what's going on on the market because it's very interesting to see people's reactions and declarations that they are not going to buy Ampere because of the availability issues, because they're really upset of how uh, Nvidia approached the launch day. And I think those declarations are based on emotions and I think really what we should do is just wait for the launch of RDNA to compare the price to performance ratio and make our decision based on that and not some, you know, emotional uh, grudge against Nvidia. But if it turns out that AMD is not able to deliver enough GPUs on the market on the launch day, uh, the pendulum might swing the other way. So people might reconsider buying Nvidia and Ampere again because I believe that by the time, by the time uh, big Navy launches, Nvidia should be able to sort out the, the availability issues and be able to deliver much more GPUs to the market. And if AMD is not able to do that and they are having trouble similar to what Nvidia is facing right now, then probably a lot of people that were waiting for our DNA 2 uh, will not be able or will not want to wait any more longer and will turn their heads towards Nvidia again. I will stress this once more, AMD has to make sure that on the launch day there is enough GPUs to at least give people the chance to buy one. They need to make sure that scalpers and bots are eliminated from the whole process or at least that they have much harder time getting the, their hands on the new GPUs. It also would benefit AMD and their reputation if they were able to deliver what's promised and deliver better than Nvidia did at the launch of the 3080. AMD has made some statements about the number of the GPUs they are going to ship but I think it was more, uh, you know, rub it into Nvidia's face kind of thing rather than an official statement especially that AMD since then has really uh, rephrased their words and they said that RDNA 2 will not be a paper launch some people are suggesting that 3080's launch was just a paper launch and that they will ship enough GPUs to give everyone a chance to buy one and I really hope this is true because it's something they really need uh, to make happen to make the RDNA 2 launch a successful one. Another thing, arguably the most important one when it comes to the decision whether we will go with Nvidia or AMD is the price to performance ratio. Nvidia has been the king when it comes to high performance GPUs, the enthusiast GPUs, they have had the crown for a couple of years now, while AMD was really more comfortable when it comes to budget and mid-range GPUs that offer quite good performance and for a reasonable price. There are some rumors out that the new uh, lineup of AMD GPUs, the RDNA 2 or Big Navi, whatever you want to call it, will be able to compete with the 3070 and maybe will be able to even beat it, but most likely they will not be able to compete with the 3080, so the flagship GPU from Nvidia. Recent leaks point towards up to 2.2 GHz boost speed, which is quite impressive, and 22.5 teraflops of performance which falls short of the 3080's 29.8 but manages to beat the 3070 which should offer around 20.4 teraflops of performance. Of course, one thing is to see the numbers on paper and quite another is to test it in games, so we'll have to wait to verify the performance leaks that are happening right now. Also, please remember, those are just leaks, not an official statement from AMD, so we'll need to verify it when the launch happens or at least on the launch event. 
and see whether the promised performance will be delivered by the red team. AMD's GPUs have been known to offer very good performance to price ratios and if the company decides to go this way, I think this would be the right thing to do. If the Big Navy 21, which is the code name for the flagship GPU that AMD will have in their offer, will be able to overtake 3070 when it comes to performance and offer a better price to performance ratio, then probably a lot of users will turn their head towards AMD and just choose the cheaper solution. Now if this is true, it means that we will reap all the benefits from the price and performance war between AMD and Nvidia, because Nvidia will probably have to adjust the pricing or release more competitive graphics cards at the similar price level to compete with AMD and you know the more choice you have the better for you. When it comes to price my guess is probably just as good as yours but I think for AMD in order, in order to really win with Nvidia they should price their new GPU at around 450 to 500 dollars to really compete with the 3070 and take the mid to high end tier of the GPUs for themselves. Another hot topic right now are the stability issues that are happening with the overclocked 3080s so if you haven't heard about it, whenever the boost clock reaches over 2 GHz, it will close your game, crash your game and kick you back to desktop. Various independent sources have already confirmed that the reason behind it are poor quality capacitors which are responsible for managing the amount of voltage, the quality of voltage that's being delivered to your GPU. And if a manufacturer decided to use the cheaper capacitors, this problem might occur when boosting over 2 GHz. I've also made a dedicated video about this issue, so if you want to know more, there's a link in the video description. AMD still has some time, so I hope the company will use this time before launch to make sure that their GPUs are as stable as possible and they will take additional care for testing the boost clocks, especially if there are going to be as high as 2.2 or even 2.5 GHz as some leaks suggest. Because the worst thing that will happen to the company is similar situation like Nvidia is in right now, and AMD can't really compete at the same uh, performance levels when it comes to 3080, so they need to make sure that at least their cards are much more reliable and much more stable in order to have something, some kind of trade-off when it comes to slower performance. Of course, there's still a matters of drivers and firmware, and I really hope that AMD's partners will have enough time to really test everything, check everything, because releasing a unstable GPU does really, really bad things for your reputation. And I'm sure that Nvidia and the other partners that are facing those issues can confirm that. And now the bonus part. I was initially planning to make only three things that AMD should do in order to make their launch a successful one, but I think that they could also benefit from a slightly better marketing. Nvidia, when it comes to marketing, are really the masters of it. They know how to build up hype, how to build up expectation and make players on their graphics card at all costs. And I think that AMD could really learn from Nvidia when it comes to marketing uh, strategies. Of course, marketing based or on misinformation or straight up lies is just really bad business practice, but some additional hypes or additional leaks, you know, something that would keep the people talking would be a good thing for them. Okay, so I think those are the main things that AMD should do in order to make the Big Navy launch a successful one. So if they make sure that the availability is fine, that the performance is fine, they don't need to compete with 3080 in order to be successful. If they are, if they are able to match 3070's performance or even beat it, then they should be just fine. And the third thing is, of course, the stability. If they also manage to nail that, then I think that we'll have a very nice competition when it comes to GPU markets. And competition is good for us as consumers, as, as users, as gamers, because we get to pay less for the things that perform at a very high level. As usual, you can find all the most interesting articles in the video description. And if you'd like to share your thoughts, then you can do so in the comments below. That's it from my side. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.